Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla physically recalls 16% of vehicles involved in Chinese recall. Tesla FSD Beta version 10.69.3.1, able to detect autopilot defeat devices. Tesla lowers supercharger rates in California, Florida, and other states, as well as some European countries. And, Aptera says, it will use Tesla's charge connector in its solar electric car. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has recalled 80,000 vehicles in China, however, only 16% will require physical alterations to become safe again. According to Reuters, Tesla has issued a safety recall in China for software issues regarding the battery management system and seatbelts, affecting roughly 80,000 vehicles. However, the affected vehicles only include 12,863 Tesla Model 3s, 16% of the total number of vehicles, primarily produced in China, that will require physical alterations. The rest of the vehicles, Tesla Model S and X, will be fixed via an over-the-air update. The seatbelt recall in China reported today seems to be the same issue reported to the NHTSA in the United States earlier this year, affecting the same seatbelts, and is similarly fixed by the replacement of the seatbelt assembly. Tesla and Elon Musk have long had issues with the terminology regarding recalls, and this has not been an issue isolated to one country. In every major market, many of Tesla's software updates are considered safety recalls, as they affect the vehicle's safety. However, Mr. Musk has pointed out that these issues are typically far less dire than physical recalls, such as the significantly rarer seatbelt issue reported today. NHTSA has been clear in its safety reports posted online that issues that may affect vehicle safety will be considered safety recalls. Hopefully, with due reporting to consumers, drivers can continue safely operating their vehicles. As more and more companies begin to implement over-the-air updates, automakers may start to push agencies like the NHTSA to create a tiered system that would allow them to avoid the recall terminology for specific software issues. However, change is unlikely to happen until regulators create a new recall system or definition. Moving to the next update, Tesla FSD Beta version 10.69.3.1, able to detect autopilot defeat devices. Tesla full self-driving beta version 10.69.3.1 can detect autopilot defeat devices. The feature would make FSD safer once Tesla rolls it out for wide release. Irresponsible drivers using defeat devices to trick Tesla's advanced driver assist software have resulted in criticisms about FSD and autopilot regarding its safety. Tesla software tracker, Teslascope, discovered that version 10.69.3.1 disengages autopilot when it detects a defeat device. Teslascope also noted that Tesla is working on finding other methods to detect autopilot defeat devices. Last week, Tesla started rolling out FSD beta version 10.69.3.1 to testers, waiting patiently for software access. During the Q3 2022 earnings call, Tesla reiterated its resolve for the wide release of FSD in the fourth quarter. Right before Thanksgiving feasts began, Tesla initiated the highly anticipated full self-driving beta-wide rollout to customers in North America, even to vehicles with less than 100 autopilot miles and less than 80 safety score. Elon Musk reminded the public that Tesla FSD's wide release will not have regulatory approval when it rolls out. He noted that the FSD's wide release and regulatory approval are separate matters. However, Musk hinted at Tesla's plans to release an FSD update next year that would show regulators the car is safer with the autonomous software. Reports of FSD software's ability to detect autopilot defeat devices might be one step closer to getting regulatory approval. Tesla has also started rolling out FSD version 11 to a few beta testers. The company will likely release version 11 to more testers once it irons out the bugs with the current version. Teslascope shared that Tesla will probably revise its strike system in version 11. 
However, if a defeat device is detected, it will still result in autopilot disengaging and prevent further activation until the next drive. Moving to the next update, Tesla lowers supercharger rates in California, Florida, and other states, as well as some European countries. Just in time for the Thanksgiving holiday weekend travelers, Tesla has lowered supercharger fees at some stations in several states across the US. At the same time, Tesla has also lowered supercharger fees in several European countries, where owners have seen successive price increases in recent months. The changes in California were spotted by Tesla enthusiast Zach, who noted that the fees during the peak hours have dropped by as much as 5 cents per kilowatt hours. Zach shared a photo of the West Hollywood supercharger, showing the peak rate is now 47 cents per kilowatt hours, down from the previous 52 cents per kilowatt hours. Other owners were quick to reply to Zach, saying they saw similar decreases at their local superchargers. Some of the states mentioned include Florida, Georgia, and New York. Zach also noted, however, that some stations increased their peak pricing, but in a discussion with Drive Tesla, he noted, the increases were minimal at only one cent or two cents per kilowatt hours. Meanwhile across the pond, Tesla has also lowered rates in several European countries. The changes were first spotted by Tesla Adri, who shared photos of the fees at several supercharger stations in Germany and the Netherlands, with fees dropping as much as 20 cents per kilowatt hours. Other owners also replied, after noticing a similar price drop in Sweden. Such a drastic drop will be welcome relief for owners who have experienced some massive price increases in recent months, as much as 30%. Along with the price increases, Tesla also introduced dynamic pricing, with time-of-use tiers, making peak hours covers almost the entire day from 6 a.m. until 10 p.m. Owners were not happy, and Tesla apparently heard the feedback, later shrinking the peak hours to between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. Moving to the last update, Aptera says it will use Tesla's charge connector in its solar electric car. Aptera has confirmed that it plans to use Tesla's charge connector, now known as the North American Charging Standard NACS, in its upcoming solar electric car. Earlier this month, Tesla surprised many by announcing that it is opening its EV charge connector in the hope of making it the new standard in North America. At the time, we reported that Aptera might have had a hand in Tesla deciding to open a charge connector to the industry. Aptera is a California-based company, building a battery and solar-powered super-efficient three-wheeler electric car. It claims a range of up to 1,000 miles and achieves that by making the vehicle extremely lightweight, with three wheels and a drag coefficient of only 0.13. When you are building a super-efficient vehicle like that, every little bit of volume and weight improvement is important down to the connector and an early prototype of the Aptera SEV featured a Tesla connector. A few months prior to Tesla opening its charging standard, Aptera launched a petition for Tesla's charge connector to become the new standard for electric vehicles in North America. It gathered almost 40,000 signatures before Tesla got on board. Now in an email to reservation holders and investors, Aptera thanked its community for helping push the petition and confirmed that it now plans to integrate Tesla's connector now the North American charging standard, NAX. In the coming months, Aptera is planning to start production of its electric solar car, which starts at $25,900. Deliveries are expected to start next year, and there is already a lot of demand for the vehicle. The company says that it has accumulated over 37,000 reservations, which each require a $100 deposit, or $70, if you use a referral code, that's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.